Boom! Hello! So, hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video to highlight um, what's happening this Friday. It's uh, Friday, June 19, 2020, and Bandcamp, which is a music sharing and hosting platform for artists and labels, is donating 100% of their proceeds to the NAACP Legal Fund uh, for 24 hours. Um, so that is a great thing that I think any music fan that wants to kind of support the arts as well as uh, have their money be going towards a worthy cause should be aware of and should check out. And I want to take this time to kind of highlight, you know, what the platform is if you're not aware, uh, why I think Bandcamp is a brilliant, fantastic platform to support just in general. And also maybe share with you, you know, a few labels and projects and ways of discovering music on the platform that I think will help you find, you know, some really interesting projects that you want to support and buy um, this Friday as well. So yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out. Cheers. So yes, um, here you'll see um, the official post from Bandcamp and it says this Friday stand with Bandcamp to support racial justice, equality and change. And in this post, um, I'll post all the links wherever you know I post this, but if you go and check it out, it'll, it'll explain in detail exactly what um, the, the initiative is about and why Juneteenth as their you know, giving their naming it as, uh, why it's an important day and exactly how they're kind of going to be supporting all these various initiatives. Um, furthermore, you know, I want to talk about exactly why in this greater landscape of music streaming platforms, why I think Bandcamp is really something that we as music fans should be supporting. Um, this is an example of kind of where Bandcamp fits in in comparison to your Spotify, your Apple Music, your SoundCloud, etc, etc. And this clearly illustrates, you know, exactly how Bandcamp allows artists to directly connect with listeners or fans exactly like you and me. And um, how in the intermediary process they're able to give more of your money and our money as fans directly to the artists. Um, even furthermore, to look into something as simple as the breakdown of artist payout for Spotify here, you'll see exactly how many steps um, and cuts you know your monthly revenue stream goes through as an artist before you actually paid out. And with Bandcamp, it's essentially one to one, and they have a very very minor percentage that they claim from each purchase. And once again, this Friday, they're collecting all of their uh, revenue that Bandcamp would receive from any sale on their platform. And 100% of those proceeds are being donated, which is a fantastic reason to kind of uh, support this as an artist, as a label, as a fan. Um, and next up, you know, I want to go into kind of what Bandcamp as a platform is doing. They're also fantastic at curating lists of various labels and artists that are doing various promotions uh, on their platform. This, I will share these links, but this is a curated list of different record labels and artists and exactly how they are, you know, uh, they are donating to various causes either locally or at a macro level as well. And you'll see this page, this page goes on for ages. And this is a list that they curated uh, last week for their June 5th um, sale, or I didn't say sale, but their donation drive. And the reason why I'm highlighting this is because many of these labels and artists are gearing up to kind of further support and further fundraise this coming Friday. So if you're looking to discover some great music, check out some great catalogs and record labels, start here, go through the list, and I'm sure you'll be amazed to see, you know, the, the, the quality of music that are here. I see Ninja Tune Records, where if you know your stuff, you know, that's a prolific label right there. There's one page, there's two pages, more than enough for you to check out and discover something through the platform itself that you might like. Um, another important thing to note is that Bandcamp as a platform is highly respected from publications and outlets across the music industry. And because of that, since they've kind of taken the lead in spearheading all these efforts for fundraising for civil rights uh, causes and uh, initiatives around the world, you see initiatives like, um, here, this is Resident Advisor, uh, jumping on board and kind of compiling lists of um, you know, similar artists or catalogs that their fans might be into. So if you're into electronic music of any sort, you know who Resident Advisor is. And this is an article they published last week on for Friday the 5th, the last Friday. 
uh, or two Fridays ago, should I say, for the last fundraising effort. And they have curated a list of projects and albums by black producers and creatives in the electronic music space. And I wanted to share this because in an electronic music space where you know the personalities and identities of you know creatives aren't as visible, uh, having a list like this is fantastic for you know fans like us who are looking to you know, really empower uh, pe- minorities in the community with our uh, dollars. Next but not least, I want to highlight you know, some labels that are worth checking out. And these are just a few examples of labels on the platform because uh, I think labels are a fantastic way of discovering music. And with Bandcamp, uh, you're able to really look and discover the entire back catalog um, of a record label. The fantastic part about this is, you know, when you discover a label like Prosthetic Records, you can kind of um, go through the entire history over the past several years, even decades, and find interesting projects that you might like. And when Prosthetic Records is matching, you know, the donations this Friday, you can be well assured that, you know, the the power of your dollar is being multiplied and amplified uh, towards a worthy cause. Um, here, Prosthetic Records, fantastic. Again, if you're into anything on the heavier side or metal side of music, I think I saw here they have like the back catalog of Skeleton Wish and Lamb of God here, Gojira, some, you know, cl- absolute classics there. Uh, next, we have Wiretap Records. Um, this is another record label that I believe will be doing a compilation uh, for this week. I'll get into compilations a bit later, but they're also worth keeping an eye out on. Uh, here is another fantastic back catalog here of Sacred Bones Records from New York. Um, oh yeah, so before I forget, I did mention I was going to talk about compilations. And that is a major thing because uh, this Friday, I know there's a multiple, multiple, very, very good uh, record labels and initiatives who have come together to put together compilations for fundraising uh, purposes. So this is Rough and Trade. Black Lives Matter compilation. This is an insane compilation right here. It's about 100 tracks deep. It has literally 100 songs on here of various artists and various singles. And they've all been kind of compiled together to support, you know, Black Lives Matter and fundraising efforts as well. And what's best is that, you know, this is listed on here and you can just search it up and you'll know that 100% of your money will be going towards a good cause on top of the band cam portion as well and on this platform you're easily going to discover tons and tons of uh fundraising efforts from labels around the world who have com- uh, comprised you know these collections of songs and uh artists within their catalog that's worth checking out this is uh, london ontario's yeah right records uh they have a black lives matter compilation that they've put out i, I believe this is like a pop punk um imprint so if you're interested definitely check out something like this once again 30 different tracks you can support it you can donate it discover some great music and be donating to a worthy cause as well um and then last but not least if you are looking to kind of put your money into more specific um, areas or niches and more importantly support black creatives or black owned collectives and record labels there are also uh, some resources for you to check out Uh, this is a thread on twitter um, that i discovered it's for black artists that you can support through their music or their merch this is uh, curated by polyvinyl record and i will share this as well along with the rest of the links but you can see this is a very very specific niche with a comprehensive list of artists worth checking out Uh, there's another list uh, posted here from Musicophilia with the same idea. These are once again black artists and black creatives. And last but not least, you know, um, there is a spreadsheet here that I will link, which is, it says 1800 plus, but at this point I'm pretty sure it's over 2000 um, black bands, artists, creatives, producers, and black owned labels on Bandcamp that are worth checking out. And here we have Javier the Mighty, which is from Toronto, you know, shout outs. But this list is comprehensive. It's tremendous. I feel like even uh, weeks after this weekend, it's a list worth keeping tap, uh, keeping an eye out on. Just because you know, every anyone who's interested in music discovery will adore a list like this. If you aren't looking for you know to carve out you know three four hours of your day this Friday to discover some projects worth checking out, I thought I would also share with you a very very good a good project that's worth checking out. 
This is the Sensei EP from KG, which is, uh, she's a UK based producer and DJ. Uh, this EP came out on Goon Club All Stars, uh, and that's a fantastic record label, highly reputed. And if I was to recommend, you know, a female um, black artist project to check out, definitely check out KG's Sensei EP. So, yeah, that's that. I know I've thrown a ton of information at you. But the idea of it is just this, is that this Friday I would like to encourage anyone who's, who considers themselves a music fan to check out Bandcamp and kind of discover some very, very interesting um, places and projects worth checking out. If you do decide to support any projects on that platform, um, you will be supporting Bandcamp's efforts to fundraise money for the NAACP legal fund. And that is a tremendous cause um, being part of. And that's it. So yeah, I thought I'd just make this quick video, put it out there. Hopefully I've done a decent enough job of it. And even if you, you know, aren't fully motivated, you might be interested in just checking out and discovering some new music. And that's that. So yeah, thank you very much for your time. And yeah, I'll see you soon.